the high pressure and temperature lab, we have the possibility to use the equipment to investigate the mechanical properties of underground layers under actual conditions. It's one of the largest laboratories in the world in the field of the rock and fault mechanics. This lab is very important because there's conditions inside the Earth with very high pressures and high temperatures. In this lab we can recreate these conditions and we can actually measure and, and observe how materials behave under these conditions. We need the underground for the energy transition. Controlling the carbon dioxide emission is very important and one of the key technologies is capturing that and storing that uh, in the subsurface layers. My research is about the question if we can predict earthquakes. The ultimate goal would be to understand in the real world where and when an earthquake is about to happen so we can strengthen buildings to save money but ultimately also save lives. By having the equipment here we can apply the same conditions on the smaller samples with the same material to see how they react and then trying to translate that to how, in the real case, in the bigger scales, they can react. So to understand the subsurface, we use data from laboratory experiments, microstructural analysis and modeling. It's really important for us to know how the subsurface behaves, to be able to uh, predict and plan the best strategies for all the underground operations that are important nowadays.